everybody. I'm Kimberly of Happy Gals Vintage. Thanks for tuning in today to watch my video. Today we are going to talk about vintage figurines and collecting vintage figurines. And I have a whole bunch of vintage figurines on the table in front of me right now to share with you. And all of these are from my Etsy shops. Well, almost all of them. <laughs> I have a couple here that are just from my own personal collection. And I just put them on the table to sort of share them with you for fun. But the rest of the, the, rest of the figurines on the table here are either in my Happy Girls Vintage Shop, or my How She Loves Us Shop, or my Elements 5 Shop. And the links to all of my Etsy shops are in the description below this video. So check it out if you're interested uh, whenever you like. Now one thing to keep in mind when you're starting to collect vintage figurines is that there are certain makers, certain companies, who are producing or have produced figurines that are more collectible than maybe other makers. And one such maker of vintage figurines is called Joseph Originals. And they are known for making these, mostly these little girl figurines. They did a few other types of figurines here and there, um, but for the most part they're known for these sweet little porcelain girls. Um, and right now I have three of them in my shop, my Happy Gals Vintage Shop. Well, actually only two of these are available. <laughs> um, this one right here, this Joseph original, is a little Bo Peep um, in her little pink dress with her little staff for herding her sheep. <laughs> She's so cute. And she already sold. I listed her this morning and um, she sold just within a few minutes. And I think it's because um, Joseph Originals are very collectible. There's a lot of collectors out there of, of these particular style, this particular brand of figurine. And I haven't seen a lot of the Bo Peep. I mean, actually this is the first time I've seen Bo Peep. <laughs> So, um, I think that's why she sold so quickly. And, you know, she's so, so sweet. The thing about the Joseph Originals is they have these sweet little faces with these little tiny black dot eyes and little tiny red lips. Um, pretty simple, but they have a look that is different from any other figurines. I think there might be a couple of copies out there um, from around the time, same time time frame but they don't look exactly like a Joseph original so you can you can pretty much tell um, just by looking at them if you have a Joseph originals or not the other thing is they had a sticker a foil sticker but black with gold and this little Bo Peep she's lost her sticker however she still has the embossed name where they sort of etched it into the porcelain on the bottom. It still says Joseph Originals with a little, a little um, trademark, a little copyright, a little C in a circle um, emblem there. And if you're collecting vintage figurines and you can get one that still has its foil sticker, that just increases the value, usually, of the figurine as well. And this little one, I think she's holding candy yeah it says candy so she's got a little box of candy she's got a little blue dress and a gold bow in her hair she's very sweet I don't have her listed in the Happy Gals Vintage shop yet but I will really soon especially since Bo Peep already sold <laughs> so she needs to take her place my little candy candy girl here needs to take the place of Bo Peep and this is also a Joseph original and She's a little, a little birthday girl, right? A little birthday angel girl. We've got the two for, for turning two years old. She's holding a little teddy bear. Um, she has wings, lots of gold detailing on her. Just so sweet. And she's available in the Happy Gals Vintage Shop also. Other than Joseph Originals, other really highly collectible figurines, vintage figurines out there are Lefton is a company. Um, Lefton especially is known for their animal figurines. This is a little Lefton doggy I have in my shop right now. 
and I've had a lot of Lefton doggies and other Lefton animals. They sell very quickly um, because they are very collectible. And if you still, this little guy doesn't still have his Lefton sticker, but if they do still have their Lefton stickers on the bottom, makes them even more collectible. This Irish Setter dog <laughs> that I have in the Happy Gals Vintage Shop right now is by Arnart, um, another collectible vintage figurine name. Um, he still has his sticker and he has just so much character and so much detail. He's just beautiful. No damage on him. He's in the Happy Gals Vintage Shop. We like to keep horse figurines in our shop. This little horse is from Japan and he's vintage and he's got just a ton of really nice detail. Um, he's in the Happy Gals Vintage Shop right now. I don't have a ton of horses because they just keep selling as fast as I can get them in there. <laughs> this horse here, this little gray one, is part of my own personal collection. He's not in the shop, but I just wanted to share him with you because he's so beautiful. So many of the things that are made nowadays are kind of disposable. Um, people just get something, use it for a while, and they get rid of it. doesn't mean anything to them. And I love the fact that some of these items have been around a really long time and people still appreciate the craftsmanship and the beauty of the item and they're going to take it and treasure it and keep it even longer and maybe even pass it down from generation to generation in the family. And that's, that's what really makes vintage figurines and other vintage items like the teacups and the teapots and bowls and crystal that I sell. That's what makes it really special to me. These figurines in the front are lusterware porcelain. They're little good luck elephants with their trunks up. You know, the trunk up means good luck. <laughs> and I've got three of them. Um, they're right here in the front. They are in my Happy Girls Vintage shop, along with this little guy who's slightly different from the others. He's got his trunk up also, but he's sitting. I guess he got tired of walking in a, in a row and he sat down. <laughs> He's in the Happy Girls Vintage Shop also. Linux is another company that makes beautiful porcelain items and is very collectible. Um, Linux figurines are very collectible. This one is not available in my shop right now. This is part of my son's collection <laughs> and it's a little, a little Linux snowman a little holiday Linux snowman. So he's got his little Santa hat on, he's holding gifts. He is as cute as, as they come. And I remember when I first found him and brought him home and was about to list him in my shop. And my son, who loves Christmas, he loves snowmen, he loves winter. <laughs> he's just, he's a winter kid. Um, and when he saw this little snowman, he was like, oh no, 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 no. You're not selling him. <laughs> We're keeping him. We're not selling him. And so we still have him and I keep him safe all year and I, I put him out on display at, during the holiday season especially. And I just wanted to share him with you um, to talk a little bit about Linux. Um, we talked about Lefton and Arnart and this is Linux and we talked about um, Joseph Originals <laughs> so far. Um, Royal Dalton also makes really beautiful figurines that are very collectible. I don't have any in my shop right now or to show you, to share with you, but I've had a few go in and out of my shop and they're wonderful. Dresden figurines are another beautiful figurine to collect. If you come upon a Dresden and it's in good condition, or grab it up. <laughs> they are wonderful. And I, again, I don't have any right now. The Royal Dalton and the Dresden figurines are a little more rare. So you're not gonna see them as often. And when you do see them, they're gonna be a little more expensive, probably than a Lefton or a Linux. But when you do see them, if you're serious about collecting vintage and antique figurines and the figurines in good condition, I would snatch it up. <laughs> That's just my advice to you. <laughs> That's what I do when I see a really beautiful Dresden or Royal Dalton figurine. Another thing to consider when collecting vintage figurines is the different materials that vintage and antique figurines can be made out of. 
And we've mostly been talking about porcelain so far. So these figurines that we've been looking at here are all porcelain, but you can also have glass figurines. This is a little glass angel figurine. Very simple, she's praying, but she's just beautiful. You can see right through her, just like crystal. And she's in the house she loves us shop. And glass or blown glass figurines can be just beautiful and a lot of fun to collect. This is a glass bowl or a Taurus, um, if you're into the astrology. <laughs> he is in my Elmets 5 shop right now and he's solid glass, black glass, and oh wow, he's just wonderful. Um, and he's by Barcinos, is the, is the company that made him. He's in the Elements 5 shop. I'll have a link to all my shops in the description below this video, so if you want to check him out, you can go to the link and click on the Elements 5 shop link to see the black bowl. And also in the How She Loves Us shop, well, we just have a lot of angels in that shop, angel figurines, and I've got a couple of different ones here um, besides the little glass one that I showed you. We have a ceramic, glazed ceramic angel that I just added to the shop today. She's praying. She's absolutely beautiful in this nice muted olive green color. And another material that figurines are often made out of is sculpted resin. So it's like a plastic resin, but it's solid and they are just lovely. They can be. This one is. <laughs> this one is um, hand painted and she's got this flowing drapery, uh, you know, flowing draping dress. Um, she's just gorgeous and all this detail in her wings and she is in the How She Loves Us shop right now. Back to porcelain again. This is a little mother and child, like a Madonna, Mother Mary bust figurine um, that is in the How She Loves Us shop. And it's so sweet and just the nicest, prettiest detail in hand painting in this figurine bust. So if you're interested in this one, Again, the link's in the description for the How She Loves Us shop. And I have other figurines here. Um, I'm always getting more figurines in the shops. I have way more than this, especially in the Happy Girls Vintage shop. Um, more cats and dogs and elephants and, and other figurines, little animals. And a lot of salt and pepper shaker figurines also so you get salt and pepper but they're in the shape of say like roosters or owls or other animals <laughs> I, I can't think right now in my head of all the ones I have but I always have several different sets of, of salt and pepper figurines <laughs> I also have a little um, Beatrix Potter squirrel nutkin um, figurine from the 1940s hand painted. I just love him and for right now he's part of my collection. <laughs> Sometimes I'll keep a figurine or other vintage collectible or antique for a while and I'll think I'm keeping this one, I'm never going to sell it. But then I'll have it for a while and I'll think, you know, I want to share this with someone else too. Like I, I shouldn't keep it forever. But for right now I'm keeping <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I just I love squirrels and this one is and I love Beatrix Potter books and this is just too sweet. Um, and I couldn't part with him. And this figurine is a Brad Keeler from 1944. It's also part of my personal collection. She has a little bit of damage. Her little ear has been um, fixed in the past. <laughs> it's a Siamese cat. But figurines by Brad Keeler are, are collectible, um, and this one especially I love. So I think I'm going to wrap up this video now, but I want to thank you all for watching. And I know I threw a lot of information at you pretty quickly, so if you have any questions about vintage or antique figurines, go ahead and write them in the comments for this video. And if you liked this video, please click the like button. It helps out the channel a lot, and it also helps out my Etsy shops. And also, if you would like to see more videos like this one, 
um, about vintage and antique items, then please consider subscribing to the Happy Girls Vintage channel as well. And I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you again soon.